Hey there, it's Susan Pierce Thompson and welcome to the weekly vlog. So I want to talk this week about a pattern that a lot of people have fallen into in Brightline eating, including me in the past. And it's a, a term that we've coined lately around here to talk about this pattern of experience or behavior. And it's called maintenance by exception. So what is maintenance by exception? Well, maintenance is when in Brightline Eating you lose your excess weight, usually by starting on the standard Brightline Eating weight loss food plan. And then maintenance is when you transition to a stable uh, goal weight, bright body, sort of a stable final weight. We call it landing the plane at maintenance. And you do that by gradually adding food. And we've got guidance for that. Uh, there's guidance in my first book, Bright Line Eating. Uh, and there's lots of guidance in our Bright Line Eating membership. And so you, you add food gradually and then you stabilize at a stable weight that you live at. Now you may not be at a exact same food plan forever and ever. You might need to add some food or take away some food as your body changes, as your fuel requirements change, as you uh, start exercising more or less or what have you. Um, but that's the general notion of maintenance, right? It's, a, it's a, an extended, protracted, on into infinity period of stable weight, roughly stable, you know, within a range, within a few pounds, that you maintain at, uh, by eating more food than you were eating on the weight loss food plan. Well, maintenance by exception is when you never officially transition to maintenance and instead your weight is stable because you're eating outside of the weight loss food plan. So you're still officially on the weight loss food plan, but you're breaking your bright lines either explicitly at home by grabbing, you know, handfuls of nuts or eating more food or outright binging at home, or you're going out to eat and you're not eyeballing your quantities carefully, or you're uh, just eating more food or eating, maybe you're drinking alcohol, maybe you're eating non-bright foods. There's all kinds of ways that you can be eating outside of the Bright Line Eating food plan, but you have a home base of the weight loss food plan that you come back to periodically, maybe quite often, uh, having bright meals and maybe whole bright days, maybe strings of bright days, but you're supplementing those bright meals and bright days on the weight loss plan with additional food and those exceptions have resulted in your weight stabilizing. Now with maintenance by exception, you could be at your maintenance weight, like you could be thinking of yourself as not really having any more weight to lose, or you could be a small bit or, or a significant amount above that weight. You could be hovering above what you would like to be, but you've plateaued out and you've plateaued because you're making exceptions to the Brightline Eating Plan. Now, when I was in maintenance by exception um, a little while back, I was uh, on the weight loss food plan and my exceptions were quantities in restaurants. And I shot a vlog about that a little while ago. I was um, just being fuzzy headed about my quantities in restaurants. I wasn't eyeballing, honestly. I wasn't even really trying. It was sort of a pattern that I got into with three kids and restaurants and it just felt hard to really look at my food honestly and think, okay, is that six ounces of vegetables? Is that four ounces of protein? I just, I just sort of got muzzy headed about it and that pattern sort of continued and so the excess food that I was eating uh, quantities wise in restaurants those were the exceptions maintenance by exception and I would get home and I would follow a weight loss food plan uh, but my weight was stable but I, I, I wasn't really doing maintenance so when you do maintenance right by adding food properly to your food plan one of the benefits you get is you're eating faithfully in integrity what you commit to eat and you have the sort of peace and freedom that comes from having your food be in integrity. A lot of folks who are in maintenance by exception have a nagging feeling of I'm not really doing this right and one of the, the one of the biggest reasons I think people land in maintenance by exception now this wasn't my story but I think it is for a lot of people is that 
they're scared of maintenance. They don't feel like they know how to do it. And they, in particular, are scared of adding food. And here's the huge irony is the part of us that's scared of adding food, the part of us that's scared of gaining weight back because that part of us has watched it happen so many times before. We may have lost weight in the past and then regained it. That part of us that is terrified of that happening feels safe with the weight loss food plan because it's been working and doesn't want to mess with it. And so the irony is that the fear of adding food actually creates the very thing we're afraid of. The self-fulfilling prophecy is we're afraid to regain our weight or we're afraid of um, adding food. And so we don't add food officially, but our starvation brain kicks in where, you know, when our fat stores are gone um, or, you know, gone enough, our brain knows we need extra fuel. And so we start breaking our bright lines to get that extra fuel and we fall into a pattern of maintenance by exception. So the solution to maintenance by exception is really twofold. It's number one, get more support to get your lines bright again, really bright. And number two, resolve to become a maintenance maestro, a real expert at maintenance. Study up on maintenance, the way you studied up on the Bright Line Eating plan when you first started Bright Line Eating. Resolve to really crack the code of maintenance. And in Bright Line Eating now, we've provided the tools for you to do that. When you're in the membership, you've got a whole course on the psychology of maintenance that goes through all the reasons, I just listed one, but there's dozens of reasons that people are scared of maintenance. One of them is they're scared of regaining weight, so they're scared of adding food. But there are so many things that keep someone skittish about maintenance, whether it's the fear of uh, unwanted sexual attention or uh, it's the fear of the wrinkles that they might have when they get really down into their bright body or the fear of, what will they do with their life when they have all this space and they're not focused on the food and the weight anymore? There's literally dozens of such examples and I teach people how to overcome these issues in a course called Maintenance One, The Psychology of Maintenance, which is there for you right now in the Brightline Eating membership. And the next two courses on maintenance, um, the one on actually landing the plane and adding food, the details of the nuts and bolts, that's happening in October of 2022. So if you're watching this vlog in real time as it's being released, right around the corner. And maintenance three on living in maintenance long-term, the maintenance dance is coming right on its heels in November and December of 2022. So uh, we're dedicated to maintenance here in Brightline Eating and we're all about it. And when you don't study up on maintenance, you fall into this pattern of maintenance by exception, living forever in this halfway land, this twilight of kinda sorta stable at maintenance, but not through any sort of clarity or, in, or integrity, but just by breaking the bright lines. And uh, for a lot of people, unfortunately, that results in them not losing all their excess weight and officially transitioning and landing in their bright body and feeling Ah, the peace and joy and satisfaction that comes with experiencing the end of that part of the journey and the beginning of the rest of the what's next now, that the food and the weight aren't the issue du jour. So yeah, if you've experienced maintenance by exception, I encourage you to take a look at that and get yourself more support because it is, I gotta say, I'm out of that pattern now and it is brilliant to be out of it. It's a very, very different feeling and I want that for you. So that's the weekly vlog. I'll see you next week.